it's really good to see you today. So, I believe you are here for a routine eye examination today. Yes? Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be checking for a variety of different things just to make sure your eye health is at its most optimum peak performance. Um, I just want to double check some of your details before we go ahead. Okay, is that alright? Lovely. Okay, so um, full name. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, what's your um, uh, current address? Just check that I've got the correct one on file for you. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the one I've got. Brilliant. Okay. Um, and when was your last visit to the opticians or to an ophthalmologist? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can never remember exactly when either, but um, that's fine, that's all I need to know. And um, so at the moment, do you wear glasses or contact lenses? Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look at your glasses for you today, um, just to check that they're still in good condition and um, just to see whether you might need some new ones or might consider some new frames, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Um, I will get you to see um, the um, uh, receptionist who has got all the frames uh, available if you'd like to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just put that in there so that you can get booked in with them too. Um, let's have a look. And um, have you had any problems with your eyes in the last um, 12 months or so? Anything in particular? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah. Do you find that the seasons can um, make them feel a little bit... Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what can happen, um, especially in spring coming into summer, or when, um, particularly at the time of harvest, is a lot of um, pollen molecules um, can disperse in the air and our eyes are quite susceptible to what's floating around in the air along with normal sort of pesticides and chemicals that might be in the air itself so um, you can uh, expect that at those times of years you might have increased dryness um, or irritation. Right, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And do they start sort of streaming? Okay, yeah. Well, I'll take a note of that anyway. Right. Okay. okay. Um, so do you think you've got general sort of dry eyes, would you say? Mm-hmm. Do your eyes get quite tired by the end of the day? Do you have difficulties? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to um, uh, give you something for that. Okay, yeah, sure. All right. And in your past eye history, I know we've looked at sort of the last 12 months, but are there any um, specific problems you've had before that you've had? Right, yes. And how long did that last for? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was there much sort of swelling around your eyes? Okay, yeah. Mm, okay, yeah, sure. But you haven't had that for a while now? Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, dokie. Well, I will go through a few different things uh, with you. So I'm looking for any um, problems that may have developed. Um, or that there might be signs of things uh, and I'm going to have a look at your general eye health I'm going to have a really good close look in there and look at how the pupil responds to um, to the light changes and I'm going to get you to do an eye test to see how well you can read and also I'm going to get you to do this test where um, we have a look at which um, colour is brighter um, and which uh, of the black lines are more predominant and much clearer. So let's get to start and have a look that deep in your eye with a bit of light. Just go 
going to put my gloves on as well because um, I might need to lift your eyelids up at times and I just want to make sure that as hygienic as possible I don't want to um, pass on any bacteria or anything to your eyes that's the, the last thing I would want to do so let's get these gloves on How's your day been today? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, you don't need to be nervous. It's okay, we're here to help. There's nothing to worry about. And at the end of the day, it might help you to feel a bit more reassured. going to get out a little light just to test the reactions of your eye. So. I'm just going to pop this little piece on here just so that I can see through. Okay, so what I would like you to do is just to look straight ahead. Okay, you can look at my nose or look at a point behind me, but don't follow the light. Do not stare straight into the light, okay? I know that might be difficult because I'm going to get quite close at times, but just try not to stare directly at the light, okay? Lovely. All right, so let's have a look. scratches or anything or any redness particularly in in your left eye but it does look um okay right okay okay i'm just gonna get right in there okay yeah don't worry just relax okay mm -hmm. just gonna look around this side can you just look up for me just look Look straight up. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, and now if you could do the same, but just look straight down like that. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm just going to put one finger on your bottom eyelid like that just to have a look under here, okay? So just try and stay relaxed. I'm going to be very gentle, okay? That's it, we're done. Okay, yep. All right, and I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to do your top lid now, okay? So I'm going to put one finger here, and if you can then just look straight down, okay? And um, I can have a little look up there as well, okay? So I'm just going to lift up your left eyelid. That's it, well done. Okay. Alright, okay, I'm now going to have a little look at your right eye and basically do the same again. So, uh, don't look at the light, just look at my nose or at a point in the distance, maybe my earring or something like that. Okay. side. No particular problems there at 
does look a little bit dry though. Okay, I'm gonna do the same as before. I'm gonna firstly get you to look up and look down and then I'm going to lift your eyelid and your bottom lid. Okay, so just look up for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. got some good healthy blood vessels in there and now just have a look down for me okay thank you okay. all right okay I'm now going to take your top eyelid Okay, and I'm just gonna stretch like that if you can look down for me. Okay, that's it, well done, very good. That's really good, well done. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to take your bottom eyelid, okay? That's it, well done. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable. a few little tests with you now. Now the first thing that I want you to do is I just want you to follow the ball on the end of the stick, okay? And I just want you to follow it with your eyes, okay? Very simple. Just follow it with, your, with both eyes, okay? And I'm just looking for how your eyes respond to the movement. Okay. Okay, I'm now going to get close, closer to you and pull away, okay? Let's just see how your eyes focus. Okay, that's very good, well done be a little bit ominous with uh, something coming towards your face but <laughs> you're safe I promise okay very good yeah that's good okay lovely and now I'm just going to move it around might get a little bit, little bit faster now yeah Hmm, good. Okay, now I'm going to do quite quickly. Very good. That's hard to keep going, isn't it? Done, that's extremely good. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit of the same again but this time I'm going to do it whilst hopefully getting your pupil to be less dilated. So okay I'm just going to look in your eye whilst it moves around so just keep focusing on the little sort of little beach ball on the end okay. All right, that looks really good and healthy. Um, now I'm just gonna go through a few different things that I'm looking for today. So, I'm looking to see whether uh, there might be possibility of um, 
an astigmatism, um, which is a common condition where the cornea or the lens of the eye it isn't a perfect curve and, and this can cause blurred or distorted vision. So, Dave, have you had at any point um, for prolonged periods of time any distorted or blurred vision at all? Mm hmm Okay, yeah. And that might be related to... Okay, yeah, sure. Mm hmm yeah, okay, so not to worry about that. Um, have you had any swelling in your eyelids? or um, around the, sort of around the rims, um, no? Okay, so it sounds like you haven't had blep blepharitis, um, that's a common eye condition where the eyelids become very red and swollen and this can be caused by a, an infection under the skin, so it looks like you're clear of that. <laughs> uh, have you had any um, sort of dead spots in your vision at all? Any black dots or anything like that? No? Okay, that's good. Um, let's check. Um, you're probably not at the moment at risk of cataracts and looking into your eyes at the moment I can't see any uh, beginnings of cataracts at all. Uh, this is where the um, your eye becomes quite cloudy and um, it can obscure the vision of your eye. There are operations you can now have to help with cataracts, but um, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. But that's one of the main things we're always looking out for because it can be quite common. Have you had any lumps or bumps sort of on your eyelids at all? No? Okay, that's good. Uh, mm, have you had any just sort of general eye infections? Um, mm -hmm. uh, well, like, but it might well have been um, conjunctivitis or pink eye. Mm, I know, yeah. Uh, and this is just where the conjunctiva becomes inflamed and it can get very sore and red and it can have a little bit of discharge and it can be very uncomfortable. Mm. Did you see your pharmacy about that? Yes. Okay, and it cleared up all right. That's good, that's really good. Oh, fantastic. Um, your cornea looks very healthy and um, uh, your responses of your, your pupil dilation, spot on, no problem there. Do you get any shadows across your vision at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be um, what's known as a floater. And a floater is uh, basically, it's caused by the natural aging process um, and it can be an indication of posterior vitreous detachment, which sounds quite scary, but it's not, don't worry. And this is when the gel can separate from your retina and you can sometimes get flashes of like, uh, light, um, but you do, if you do get flashes of light, please make sure you uh, see a medical professional very quickly, okay? Yeah. Um, have you had any pain in your eye at all, or sort of swelling in your in your eye? No. Okay, that's good. Can we all glaucoma out? Okay. Okay, I think that's all those little bits. Now, now for some more eye examination tests. Okay, now you might have done this one before, you probably have. I just want to see how um, your vision is doing, whether it has deteriorated at all, and um, whether we need to update your um, prescription um, and possibly get new lenses. Um, so I'm just going to uh, just remove your glasses if that is okay, because I just want to see um, how your sightedness is without them first, which might be quite difficult, um, and then uh, I'll put them on and um, see how it is with them on, okay? So I'm just going to take your glasses off now.
well done. Right, I'm going to put them safe there. Right, now, which line down can you see without your glasses? Okay, only the second one. Right, sure. Okay, so what are the letters on the second line down? Can you see there for me? Yep. S, yep. M, yep. And R. Okay, lovely. That's quite normal not to be able to see um, more without your glasses because a lot of people can't see more than sort of here uh, in any great definition. But I just wanted to check that. Okay, I'm just going to give you your glasses back. But before I do that, I just want to give them a clean because they are absolutely filthy. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to grab one of our cleaning cloths. going to give them a really good clean. Do you have any cleaning cloths at home or do you need any more? letters as far down as you can. Now, can you tell me which line you can still definitely read? Yep, okay, so can you read these letters for me? You can read most of it. Okay, there is A. Okay. Yep, can you do this one? Yeah, this one just here. This one. Yeah. Here. Yep, how about here? What's on here? That's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, sure, no worries. Okay, can you read the previous line for me right from the beginning? F, yep. A, yeah. Yep, I. Uh, yep. E, yep, well done. Yep. Yep, yep, E, E. And yeah, X, very good. Okay, well done, that's really, really good. Um, now with your glasses on, can you tell me out of the two circles, which one are the black lines of the circle clearer for you? Is there one that's more clearer than the other? Okay, have a good look at them. Neither. Uh, answer is right or wrong. Okay. Yep, sure, I'll just note that down. It just helps us to get your prescription correct. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. And then you've got down to line, got down to line four. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Well, I think you've done really well with that. Absolutely. Okay, so um, now what I'm going to do is I just want to have a little look around your eye and I want to see if this time I'm going to keep the light quite not too bright. So I'm going to turn it around and not have the bright light shining in your eye. And what I'd like you to do is just to follow the less bright light that is being admitted here, okay? 
okay so you can look at this safely without it being dangerous okay so just follow the light Really good, okay. That's really good, okay. Now I just want to have a little look at your responses and what I'm going to do is have both my hands here and what I want to do is just do a little bit of moving, you might be wondering why and what I want you to do is to tell me whether it is at the top, left or top right, okay? or if it's at the bottom left, bottom right. Okay, so, are you ready? Yep. 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 A little bit quicker. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of a puff of air onto each eye and this is just to see how the eye responds and see whether it lubricates itself well or not. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little closer look just in here. Okay, and you're going to feel a little bit of a puff of air on this eye, okay? You ready? Okay, there might be another one. Okay, and your other eye. That's good. And again. Great, okay, that's really good. That looks like you've done really well today. Mm, yes, absolutely. Now, did you want to, um, I think your, your sight has changed uh, a little bit since uh, your last appointment. So did you want to go ahead and upgrade your prescription to a newest one? Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, it hasn't changed so much that uh, it's, uh, say, not good enough for driving or something like that. Um, but obviously we always do advise for you to get the latest prescription so you can see the best that you can. But obviously there is a cost involved, so it's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. And if you did want to go for um, an upgraded prescription, obviously you could look at different frames and things like that. Okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay, well thank you very much for coming to see me today. And um, just go and check in at the reception um, if you would like to consider um, just go and check in at the reception if you'd like to go and consider any new glasses at all. Um, and I hope you take care and well done on taking such good care of your eyes. Yeah, well done. Okay, take care. <laughs>